allowed the cultural conquest of our nation. A tectonic shift has occurred in which the previously agreed social and political order have been overthrown in an insidious, silent revolution. To understand fully what has happened to our country, I believe that we must look to the work of the Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci. Gramsci's insight was to see revolution in culture rather than economic terms, with cultural hegemony as the key to supposed classic dominance. The Marxist state, Gramsci argued, could be achieved by gradual cultural revolution, subverting society via a long march through the institutions. The tactics of latter-day Gramsci-inspired radicals were to disguise degeneracy as liberation and tyranny as compassion. Free speech could be eliminated by appeal to not offending or saying things which were hurtful. This, of course, subtly creates a subjective test by which all criticism of cultural Marxist agenda can be silenced. It is my understanding that, the Gram that Gramsci himself coined the term political correctness to describe obedience to the will of the Communist Party. However, he made clear that its final purpose was to force concurrence with those things which individuals knew to be false. If an individual could be induced to agree and state to others something they knew to be utterly false, such as black being white, then the party had achieved total moral and ethical surrender in the subject. Thus, to describe the so-called safe schools and gender fluidity garbage being peddled in schools as cultural Marxism is not a throwaway line, but a literal truth. Given that everyone knows that there are only two genders, if you can persuade to agree to you and advocate in support of the false claim that there are an infinite number of genders, then without realising it, you have surrendered your political soul. Today, with so many unwittingly in lockstep, marching to the cultural revolutionary's tune, options to oppose them politically are increasingly limited. But, so that's why I joined the Catter Australia Party, and only, the only political force that seeks to return to the pre-Whitlam